What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome back to the Liverpool Carrier Mode Show with a brand new episode and these are the quarterfinals of the FA Cup Man United and Crystal Palace are already through to the next round so it's all down to us to knock out Wolverhampton and let's try and get to the semi-finals of the FA Cup so I'm playing a very very strong team Van Dijk picked up a small knock so he can't play in this one Firmino, Salah and Mane starts though Come on boys, let's knock out Wolves So let's update you guys on the fan challenges we scored a whopping 127 goals in 50 games as you can see and also Mohamed Salah has 20 goals this season so he needs just 10 more goals to complete the second fan challenge which is to score 30 goals this season and I'm really really looking forward to scoring more goals with Mohamed Salah as you can see I'm at my girlfriend's house so I'm recording in a different uh, setting but I hope that you guys will enjoy these Liverpool carry with episodes happy new year to all of you guys and let's try to score a set piece goal in this episode and also in this episode we will play Chelsea and Tottenham so two absolutely massive games in the title race and also I'm really looking forward to covering the Manchester City Liverpool game for you guys so let me know what is your prediction for that game welcome to Anfield Liverpool Wolverhampton FA Cup quarterfinal really big game in my opinion we must win the FA Cup as well let's go for the treble of winning the the Premier League the Champions League and the FA Cup only Manchester United have ever done that in English football so I really hope that this year we can do it and Mohamed Salah of course is the player to watch with two goals against Juventus he's in red hot form Warm. Go on. Oh, that I timed that perfectly. Tierney can go in. Come on, Tierney, bang! No, the keeper saved it. Ah, oh, annoying. Really annoying stuff. I'm really, really happy with how I'm playing so far. Come on. What a play, but Salah was just too close to the keeper there. Oh no. Hector. Oh, please don't let him in, Adama. To Hector. Oh, that's a goal. I can't get there. I just couldn't get there. And Wolves take the lead. Hector. No! This is the first real chance of Wolves. I mean, Koulibaly. Oh man. I'm, I ran away with Koulibaly. Really annoying stuff. Go on, Firmino. Come on! Nabi Keito! How did you not score that? At least hit the target, Nabi. That is a really big miss. Let's go. Let's go, Alexander Arnold. Come on, Firmino! Oh my god, Firmino. Wow, they just steal the ball off his foot. Really? Come on, alright, McLean saves it. Oh, what a pass. Penalty? No penalty! Oh, he got the ball, I think. Wow, how close was that? Come on, Navigato! And Firmino, why didn't you get to the ball? Come on, Keita! Wow, Nabi Keita's shot is blocked. It's just not, nothing is working. Come on, have to, have to finish that! Keita, what is that shot? That is a shockingly bad shot, man. I wanted to make substitutions for like 20 minutes, but the ball was not going out. But what I will do is let's bring on Sancho and also Vinicius Jr. Yeah, instead of Keita. And yeah, Vinicius Jr. and Sancho. And Vinicius will play instead of Mane up front because he has pace, but yeah. Wow, Wolves are just keeping the ball at the back. And I can't... Maybe now. This is our last chance, guys. No, that's it. That's it, it's done. What on earth happened in this game? Like, Salah didn't have one single shot. Wolves 
we're the better team, I'm not gonna lie. I just couldn't break them down. They have a five at the back formation. I didn't create enough chances. I still had twice as many shots as Wolves. They just had two shots, one goal. Wolves with five at the back formation really nullified my attack because normally I find space between the defenders, but this time I couldn't. And Hector, who scored the winner, was the man of the match. Infuriating loss because we are out of the FA Cup, so the treble is gone. And Man City, Man United, probably one of those two teams, will win the FA Cup. So the FA Cup semi-finals will be like this. And it will be probably a Manchester derby in the FA Cup final. So as you can see, because we dropped points in the previous round, Manchester City are now 8 points behind us. They could took advantage of us uh, not winning our game against Crystal Palace which was bitterly disappointing I didn't play as well as I can but now it's all about the Liverpool Chelsea game Chelsea are in mid table as you could see they are not even in the top six but that makes them even more dangerous because they need the points really really badly if they want to get into the top four so this will be my team really looking forward to this one welcome to Anfield Liverpool against Chelsea it's always a really really big rivalry and I have added motivation because Chelsea beat us 5-4 in the League Cup final not too long ago so I have revenge on my mind I really want to win the Premier League title and uh, I think if we could win these two games against Chelsea and Tottenham that is a massive step towards uh, winning the Premier League title so here is the Chelsea lineup uh, they have a very strong defense with Benatia, Aspilicueta, Alexandro but PK who scored the winner in that League Cup final is not playing, which is a good news for us. They have Willian Jose, who is an 85 rated striker, Eden Hazard, Draxler, Fabian, so interesting team. To Alexander Arnold. Oh, Mohamed Salah! Ooh, he shoots, but the keeper saves it. Unlucky, good try. Oh, what a pass! Oh, that is a glorious pass by Fabinho. And Alexander Arnold whips it in. Never mind. Go on. Money! Terrible shot. To Saul. Oh, that's nice. Fabinho. Go on. Salah! Oh, you kidding me? That shot was shocking. Go on, Salah. Let's go, Salah. Come on. Saul, come on! Ah, Saul's shot is saved. Go on. Oh, Salah. Go on, Mohamed Salah! Yes! Salah scores! It's 1 0. Brilliant counter attack. <laughs> Ah, that celebration is brilliant as well. Let's go! Oh, Chelsea were outnumbered. That through ball is brilliant. And Salah, of course, our top scorer. He has now 21 goals this season and there is still a lot of games left to play. And Salah has 10 goals in the Premier League. So that means that a lot of his goals have come outside of the Premier League, in the Champions League, in the FA Cup, in the League Cup. Oh yes, oh Mane, oh brilliant, and Firmino, oh I mean Fakir was in the middle, if he, if he gets on the end of it, that would have been curtains for Chelsea 2-0, probably game over, to Fabinho, Firmino, oh wow, what is the Chelsea defense doing, Robertson is, is wide open, he checks back, and Firmino, Oh, what was that shot? But I had so much time, I could have taken a touch there. Oh, Fabinho. Oh boy, we are in trouble. We are in trouble. What a block, Koulibaly. Beautiful defending. No. Ooh, that's an easy save by McLean. Go on. Go on. Oh yes. Oh yes, Robertson. Come on. Oh my goodness, I switched the play maybe too early. Oh, 
Oh, Fakir! Come on, cross it! No! I showed too much of that to the defender. I think it's time to make some substitution, and especially in midfield, I want to be more solid. So let's bring on Nabi Keita, let's bring on Rabio, and instead of Mane, let's bring on Vinicius, who has a lot of pace. All right, Mane, just hold the ball up. I need to... Oh my god, Fabinho's pass gets intercepted. And this could prove, prove very costly indeed. What? You can't tell me that ended up into the back of the net. I went to clear it. And Rabio shins it into or knees it into his own net. What on earth is that? Oh my goodness gracious me, Rabio with the most unlikely of own goals. Oh, this game just loves to throw me. And Chelsea weren't even in the game. And the, what is that touch? I mean, when the game wants you to concede, you know that these are the trolling that EA does is just on another level in this one. Go on, Keita. Alright, let's check back. Because I need to be very composed. Very good forward thinking from Liverpool. Oh, please! Money! Oh, yes! We have done it! It's Vinicius Junior! It's 2 1! We take the lead again! What a pass! And what a finish by Vinicius Junior! Let's go! Come on! Oh, man, this pass was a long shot to try, but. It was worth it, and Vinicius Junior coming on as a substitute scores one of the most important goals of the season. 2-1 Liverpool, let's go! That's Vinicius Junior's 8th goal in the Premier League. Oh, what a big one that is. Yes guys, we have done it! We somehow dug deep to find that winner, because I will be honest, that Robbie own goal, that Chelsea goal, really, really disappointed me. I mean, that was one of the freak own goals of the season, but we deserved it. We had six shots, Chelsea just had two, so I think a 2-1 scoreline is deserved. Salah and Vinicius with the goals, and interestingly, Firmino was the man of the match because he got two assists. So that was a big contribution by Firmino. The young players are showing great promise. So let's train them up. And Kent is very close to 78 rating, which is really, really nice. So beating Chelsea was very, very important because as you can see, Manchester City and Tottenham, two of our closest rivals for the title, have both won their games and Man United also won. But Arsenal's dreadful season continues, they lost to Southampton. I think because uh, also Leicester, I think, lost to West Brom, which was a costly result. The top four really opened up for Manchester United. Chelsea, because of uh, us beating them, far away from the top four, five points. And yeah, Man United, I think, will finish in the top four if they put a winning run together. Arsenal, what are they doing? I mean, they are in 13th place, absolutely ridiculous, but ever are trying to climb out of the relegation zone. All right, we get two messages that Lewis Graham and Reese Drummond both want out of the youth academy. And let's promote uh, Lewis Graham. He's uh, an incredible player, 65 rated now, but his potential is incredible. That's what I'm, I, I was meant to say. 88 to 94 potential, Lewis Graham. Wow, what a talent already 71 marking, 71 slight lacquer, pretty decent height as well, 185 centimeters tall, so let's promote him to the senior team, and the other guy, oh my word, Reese Drummond is another insane talent, 61 rated overall, 89 to 94 potential, wow, he is a defensive midfielder, and I wonder, like, uh, can we make him maybe um, Xabi Alonso, the next Xabi Alonso potentially? He's almost 200 centimeters tall. That's insane. That's like six foot eight or something like that. Crazy height. And Graham has five star big foot and three star skills as a right back. That's quite surprising. But yeah, his finishing is uh, dreadful. Three star weak foot, three star skill moves for Drummond. But these are not attacking players. And let's put them on the loan list because I really want to loan them out. And uh, Drummond uh, looks like this. So he's a really, really good talent. Really happy with that. And. Uh, and Graham, the right back, looks like this. So he, he could be the next Andrew Robertson in our squad because he is Scottish. 
he's a fullback again as well just like Robertson this is another huge game in the title race Tottenham are in the title race they are our direct rivals at the moment they are 10 points behind us so if we win here they are out of the title race but if we lose the title race is blown wide open so really looking forward to this game Luis Suarez I thought let's give him a run out he's a brilliant finisher still and Vinicius Jr scored the winner against Chelsea so he's high on confidence Alisson is back into the team welcome to the new Tottenham stadium it's a stunning stadium but still Tottenham haven't played yet in this stadium and I, I saw some arguments floating about that it would be unfair in the Premier League for Tottenham to play in this in their new stadium this season because they already played the majority of their games at Wembley and I kind of agree with that argument you shouldn't be able to switch stadiums in the middle of the season for opposition teams it's unfair uh, some teams would get an advantage or a disadvantage depending on uh, the different factors of moving into the new stadium so yeah I think a, a, a team should have to play all their games that in one season in a in the same stadium and this is Tottenham's team they have very very good players and not that many new signings they have Carvajal, Hamshik, Ruiz and Weiser but oh please Oxy Chamberlain come on Salah and Naby Keita oh that's low risk no no Oh my god, I can't get there! Oh no! Come on! Tottenham take the lead, it's 1-0! Oh, I got outnumbered there and even though Vinicius is tracking Carvajal's run, is that Carvajal the right back scores between Alisson's legs? He got uh, ahead of Vinicius and after that there was nothing I could do really. Which is really frustrating, go on. Go on, Keita. Nabi Keita. Suarez has to finish it. Luis Suarez! Oh, we are getting an instant reply straight away from kickoff. And I had the composure with Luis Suarez to take a touch in the box because he was actually so far wide open. Nabi Keita brilliantly finds Suarez. And after Suarez took a touch, there is no way that he is not putting that into the back of the net and Vinicius Junior very smartly impedes the goalkeeper a little bit standing ahead of him but he was not offside so the goal is a legit goal and Suarez back from his injury back among the goals welcome back Luis let's hope he can fire Liverpool to a Premier League title remember that the main reason why I signed Luis Suarez is that he has unfinished business with Liverpool and we want to win the title with Luis Suarez. Alexander Arnold. Go on. Vinicius Junior! No! That is so close to 2 1. For one second, I honestly thought that was going in. Damn it. Oh my god. Oh my word. Alisson almost conceded there. All right, all right, Van Dijk, win that header, no. What? No! Oh my goodness gracious me, I, what on earth happened there? Look at this, guys. I kick it straight to Ericsson. And instead, Tierney, instead of tackling Ericsson, just walks past him. And Dele Alli with an unstoppable header into the top corner. And just like that, Tottenham are back in the lead. I told you guys that this would be a really difficult game. And Tottenham probably really want to win that Premier League title as well, not just us. Go on. Please. Oh, go on. What a play. Oh, what a goal. That is a fantastic goal. And honestly, it is an incredible statistic that from two kickoffs, we scored two goals straight away. Both times when Tottenham took the lead, we equalized. And is the kickoff glitch in career mode? I'm not sure. I heard that it is in 
ultimate team that you get a boost to your players if they are, uh, you know, straight from kickoff attacking. And of course, Mohamed Salah, the star of this Liverpool team, scores once again in a huge, huge game, getting Salah 11 goals now in the Premier League. Oh my goodness, Ericsson. Just stop him. Dalali! All right, Ali Alisson. And that was a good catch. To Keita. Oxy Chamberlain. No. Come on. Come on. Oh no. What? Harry Kane. Oh, that's a red. Oh, I didn't get the ball. And that is probably. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. That g this game turns again. With Van Dijk, I take out Harry Kane, I can't really complain, he was the last man. And we get a red card, and I don't want to play with three defenders. And you know what, instead of Suarez, let's bring on Mane, I want to play on the counter-attack. And yeah, I, I know it's a little bit risky, but I will play with two defenders, uh, two midfielders, sorry. But those two midfielders will be very good defensive midfielders, Fabinho and Naby Keita. So Eriksson stands up to the free kick clear it oh good save Alisson that was nice oh good punch Alisson but there is no Tottenham no Liverpool player there oh are you kidding me stop the cross no yes he missed it Oh my word, I honestly thought he missed it, he scores. Alisson I think would have saved it if it's on target. Go on. Oh my goodness, Tottenham are really aggressive now. They really want to win this game, probably at the moment I would take a draw. Please clear it! No freaking way, it's Tottenham again taking the lead. This is ridiculous. Oh, again, my defender is bit, bit behind the Tottenham attacker. And he just toe pokes it in. And I don't even know who that is. Is that Vincent Janssen, their backup striker? Alisson, come on, you need to do better there. No, it's Zivkovic. And that is his first goal in the league. Are you serious? That is a joke. Oh my God, I rushed that pass. And look, they are through. I probably have to take this guy out. No, I can't even tackle him. Don't! Don't! Okay. But it doesn't matter because the game is over. What an eventful game. It's the 96th minute. The referee is still waving the play on because Zivkovic, the striker who got the winner, he gets injured because I tackled him with Nabi Keita. Really frustrating defeat because I didn't think Tottenham were the better team, but they took their chances really well. And I'm I'm just gutted we lost this because Tottenham are one of our direct rivals. Yeah, maybe Tottenham deserves it. I, I take it back. I take it back. I was wrong. They had more shots, a lot more chances than me. But I, we got a red card with, with Van Dijk, which is pretty unlucky. I missed the ball by just this much. Up to the red guard, it was just one team winning the game and that was Tottenham. I really got it about this and Carvajal was the man of the match with one goal and one assist. So Man City took advantage of our loss as well, so the deficit is now just five points. So as I told you, if Tottenham beat us, the title race is blown wide open. Five points is really just just two games. I think I have to, I have to be a lot more clinical in my finishing and also we have to defend better because against Tottenham I just didn't defend as well as I can. Man United Arsenal ended in a 1-1 draw but Leicester lost again so now Man United are in the top four. Chelsea beat Burnley so Chelsea are also in the tight in the top four race now because of that win against Burnley so it's going to be very interesting. The title race is uh, very open and that's what I wanted so that's why you know I made the sliders a lot harder than than the default ultimate difficulty. Everton and Watford are in the relegation zone, but uh, Fulham and Southampton are just one point ahead of, uh, of those teams, so anything can happen still. Eden Hazard and Milik are the top scorers in the Premier League, but Gabriel Jesus is just one goal behind. We have Salah as our top scorer, Mane also with nine goals, very good return. Keita, Vinicius Jr. has eight goals each, Roberto Firmino has seven, 
And yeah, look at how many assists we have with the four players. But Sane is now the top guy in the assist chart. So yeah, Alisson has seven clean sheets and I'm very disappointed with Alisson uh, lately. He hasn't been as good as, as I expect him to be. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed this Liverpool episode. If you did, leave a like and have a nice day. See you later, guys. Goodbye.